Welcome my dear students. So today's class we will be uh, viewing chapter 2 inside the restless earth. In this chapter we will be analyzing the structure of the earth. Uh, so what are the different layers of the earth and what is rock and what are the different type of rocks and how each rocks is different from one to the other and how these rocks is undergoing different climatic condition, different weathering, all these concepts we will be analyzing in chapter 2 that is inside the restless earth. So moving to the first topic that is the structure of the earth. If you see the structure of the earth the earth is divided into three layers the first layer is uh, considered to be the crust crust means it is considered to be the outer layer of the earth so as you see this part that is the outer layer of the earth is considered to be the crust whereas the crust is having uh, I mean crust can be divided into two one is continental crust and oceanic crust you have seen more detailly continental crust and oceanic crust in chapter one and now the second uh, layer is the mantle mantle is the second layer so you will be able to see mandal over this portion and mandal is of two type upper mandal and lower mandal upper mandal is the uh, upper mandal is the line you will be able to see over here that is here, this portion it can be considered to be the upper mantle that is topmost of the uh, I mean uh, topmost of here you will be able to see the mandal and uh, lower mandal you will be able to see over oh, this portion this portion is considered to be the lower mantle so this is the uh, upper mandal and lower mantle and next is core core are of two type core means inside this is inside of this uh, earth layer can be considered as core this core I mean this portion is considered to be inner core and whereas this portion is considered to be the outer core so core is two, two parts in the uh, two parts one is uh, inner core and outer core so that is regarding uh, the structure of the earth so we will be viewing the structure of earth in detail right now so as you see the first that is the crust crust means the outer layer of the earth we have already seen and there are two type of uh, main crust one is continental crust and oceanic crust you have already seen continental crust and oceanic crust in chapter one continent can be uh, in this uh, in the image too you'll be able to see continental crust over here that is uh, over near to the earth is uh, that is near to the outer layer of the earth you'll be able to find the continental crust that is the continent itself the continental crust and you'll be able to see a lot many oceans i mean in this image you'll be able to see different type of seas and all these seas part uh, seas can be considered as an oceanic crust and whereas these continent means the I mean the, uh, the the land or surface everything can be considered as a continental crust so oceanic means is the, it consists of seas or oceans so all these seas and oceans uh, include the oceanic crust and whereas the land are uh, considered as an continental crust uh, and mantle is considered to be of two one is lithosphere lithosphere means it is outside portion that is the crust together with the heart the a part of mantle is considered that is hard part of the mantle that is outside portion is considered to be lithosphere whereas athenosphere means the inside portion this inside portion is considered to be athenosphere that is below uh, the lithosphere lithosphere line lies here and below the lithosphere line it is considered to be athenosphere so that is the inside portion so uh, so much pressure heat rocks and it flows a liquid so from uh, so uh, the lithosphere this outside portion uh, is I mean the crust together with the hard part of the mantle this is the hard part of, uh, this, this is the lithosphere is the hard part of the mantle whereas uh, if you go to athenosphere I mean, it, I mean, it, it is a kind of a liquid that flows uh, like a heat that flows like a liquid and uh, so it is hard and this is a uh, I mean if you go to inside it is uh, like a liquid free, uh, liquid form so that is regarding uh, the mantle and uh, you have already seen both inner core and outer core too in this uh, the structure of the air so this is uh, regarding a small uh, a small idea of what the structure of the earth and small explanation of the structure of the earth and now we are moving to the next topic that is rocks you have seen different type of rocks or different type of mountains uh, wherever if you go to any kind of uh, tour or if you have any family trips so you might have seen different type of rocks and each rocks is having different type of shape different type of size some rocks is small whereas some rocks is very huge and different size and different height uh, it differs one to the other a rock Rocks is naturally occurs solid mixture of one or more minerals or organic matter. Rocks are classified by how they are formed, their composition and texture. So you will be able to see different type of rocks images on the right side and uh, you, you I mean each rock have different, uh, I mean each rock is, one rock will not be same uh, than the other rock, each uh, rock color, each rock ingredients or each rock's uh, content and the material is something different from one to the other. So rocks change over uh, time. Uh, through the rock cycle uh, I mean the rocks is not been formed uh, within a fraction of uh, uh, let's say about a kind of century within a fraction of uh, 
years it takes a lot many uh, uh, millions of billions of years to form as a rock and we will be studying a uh, different uh, type of rocks majorly in this chapter we will be studying three type of rocks uh, based on their how the manner of formation uh, how they are formed the first rock we will be viewing is igneous rock the second rock is sedimentary rocks and third we will be viewing metamorphic rocks so these are the rocks uh, uh, different type of rocks we will be viewing this chapter so moving to the first rock that is igneous rock so igneous rock you can see the image on the right screen igneous rocks are formed of uh, from the cooling and solidification of magma you can see a magma over here in this image so igneous form is rock by cooling uh, from, from the cooling of and the solidification of magma at high pressure so uh, in this uh, igneous rock a high pressure is being from uh, is being formed uh, i mean uh, as a solidification of magma and uh, th due to this high pressure the magma comes deeper into the earth and igneous form is rock uh, igneous form is also called as primary uh, rock uh, due to uh, this magma's high temperature and solidification there's uh, igneous rocks has been formed and igneous rock is out of two type one is uh, in, in uh, intrinsive rocks and the second is extrinsive rock so we are going to see the two uh, dimension of uh, igneous rock that is intrinsive rocks and extrinsive rock so what do you mean by uh, intrinsive rock and what do you mean by extrinsive rock we are going to have a wide analysis of both the uh, rocks intrinsic rocks means uh, when the magma we have already seen what is magma magma you will be able to see now on the screen when the magma okay when the magma cool down and solidification before reaching outer surface of the earth it forms intrinsic rock so so when this magma when it cools and when it form outer surface you can see the outer surface over here so the outer surface of the earth so it it forms intrinsic rocks and from this intrinsic rocks the remains below the earth surface remains surrounded uh, by all the uh, pre existing rocks the intrinsic rocks cooling uh, i mean in intrinsic rocks uh, cools uh, slowly over a hundred and thousand years and develop a large crystals and these crystal uh, the uh, these type of crystal means that these uh, are of uh, uh, cross testers rock the best examples are granite uh, uh, gerbro then diorite uh, i mean periodite etc are the best example and uh, so you can see uh, i mean large crystals on these rock so if you uh, see more close to these rocks you'll be able to find large crystals around these rocks so this is about uh, intrinsic rocks whereas if you move to the extrinsic rocks when the magma reaches the surface of the earth so uh, i mean uh, intrinsic rocks is the outer surface of the earth but whereas extrinsic rocks uh, is uh, uh, i mean the, it, 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 when it reaches the surface of the earth and uh, cools down its solidification from extrinsic rocks uh, when the magma comes out of volcano it's known as lava so this lava cools very quickly so the crystals are very small so you can be able to see uh, I mean as in the example of uh, basalt you'll be able to see uh, the, uh, the I mean uh, over in the extrinsic rock the crystals are very uh, small whereas in the intrinsic rock the crystals are very huge and large and you I mean you, you I mean the, this is a small differences about the intrinsic and extrinsic rock of igneous rock I mean rock of two dimension that is intrinsic and extrinsic rocks and now we are going to view about sedimentary rocks so what do you mean by sedimentary rocks sedimentary rocks means uh, it undergo various type of weathering weathering means due to different climatic condition or different kind of uh, uh, variations in different kind of natural calamities uh, uh, different type of weathering take place and uh, these are formed for the uh, when the pre-existing rocks are weathered by the action of wind water and ice the rock particles get deposited in these layers these deposits are called the sediment that is all these weather uh, I mean particles uh, get mixed together in these layers and these deposits uh, are formed as sedimentary rocks the scattered piece of the remains form will be deposited in the lower regions of the layer that is you can be able to see uh, different layers on the screen of uh, uh, sedimentary rocks uh, different layers are uh, on the screen and each layers is of different particles uh, such as uh, uh, let's say about uh, whether uh, I mean due to weathering different action of wind water water ice and rock particles all these deposit layer get mixed and scattered into different pieces and they get deposited and these are considered to be uh, the sedimentary uh, rocks and these materials are gradually transformed into rocks as sedimentary rocks are formed in layers they are also known as uh, uh, stratified uh, rocks and many sedimentary rocks have organic sediments which have compared uh, uh, compacted to form 
called or petroleum or a natural gas within the layers so within the layers uh, I mean we are able to get different uh, type of uh, coal uh, petroleum and natural gas within these layers and sedimentary rocks are also holds fossils of Asian life forms too so that is regarding sedimentary rocks the best example of sedimentary rocks can be uh, classified uh, I mean, best uh, can be pointed out is one is sandstone and uh, second is about the shale so these two are the best example can be pointed out for sedimentary rocks and next we are moving to metamorphic rock metamorphic rock means the rocks get uh, undergo heavy pressure high pressure and uh, high temperature due to physical and chemical uh, changes you will be able to see high temperature high temperature means the temperature will be very high when the temperature both gets collide together and also the heat the high uh, temperature and high pressure when they go, uh, collide with each other this creates some kind of physical and chemical change this uh, when this physical and chemical change change that take place because of high temperature and high pressure then the metamorphic rocks are being formed so you as you see in the image uh, that uh, protease all the high pressure high uh, temperature that changes physical and uh, chemical reaction so that is how metamorphic rocks is being formed and the best example of metamorphic rocks can be uh, may point out is one is marble and second is slat these are some of the metamorphic rocks that is slate, slate, uh, uh, cotel, marble, and uh, uh, genus. So these are the rocks, and uh, I mean these are the different type of uh, metamorphic rock, and how these metamorphic rock formation is done in various stages is being screen. Uh, I mean is been explained uh, in the screen. The next topic we are going to study is the rock cycle. The rocks on the earth surface are constantly changing from one to the other. Each rock is different from one rock to the other rock. And if you see, uh, these rock, uh, it take a process uh, for processing a rock. It takes about millions of years. It, I mean, rocks will not be formed within a fraction of, uh, I mean, about ten to I mean, hundred years. It takes about million of years and uh, to form a rock or kind of a structure of rocks. And uh, we are going to see how rock cycle is being linked with igneous rock sedimentary rocks and metamorphic rock as you see in the image so if you see in the image the first you will be able to see the igneous rock so igneous rock the molten rocks of magma cools down the solidifying of the igneous rock so the magma uh, the cools down uh, the solidification or the the, the, the kind of uh, solidify to form igneous rock and we have already seen what is igneous rock and this igneous rock gets a uh, weathering and erosion and these weathering and erosion creates uh, sedimentary rocks and and these process of weathering and erosion surface uh, pre assisting into sedimentary rocks and which accumulate these layers and compress over the uh, I mean years uh, I mean compress over the years and these sedimentary rock what happened is that these sedimentary rocks uh, gets heated and pressure and uh, these uh, some of the heat uh, since heat and pressure is going on these uh, changes in the igneous and sedimentary rocks uh, leads to metamorphic rocks uh, in the deep in the deep of the crust and uh, I mean the deep of the crust and again uh, what happened is that after a, after a period of time the mountain or the building process uh, bring out the rocks or depth in the rocks uh, surface uh, these get uh, melted out and uh, so uh, when uh, the mountain or building process as I said uh, when uh, when the rocks get depth into the earth uh, surface these cycles get again and uh, melted out and again if you see these igneous rocks get again heated up and pressure and again the metamorphic rocks get weathering and uh, it leads to sedimentary rocks and again it gets melted and come back to the igneous rock so these rock cycle keeps on uh, taking place again and again and uh, in this way rocks keep changing and recycling their physical structures their mineral composition and their textures so this about uh, the chapter uh, so that is uh, so that is how um, the explanation of the wrestlers on the earth and we have seen how the structure of the earth has been and what are the different layers of each structure of the earth and what is rock and what are the different type of rock igneous rock sedimentary rocks and metamorphic rocks and uh, what each uh, rocks differ and how each rock go through different kind of weathering or different type of climatic condition and uh, what is rock cycle and how these three rocks is interlinked in rock cycle so that is all about this chapter i hope you understood the lesson thank you my dear students